creating games in your phone is a reality thanks to Godot. Now, you don't need a PC to actually program games. In addition, by having such a great game engine in your phone, you will be able to program anywhere. So, do you want to start making your games in your mobile phone? Let's start. The first thing we have to do is to actually download Godot. In order to do that, we are going to go to the official Godot website, then click on the top right part of the website. Then we want to click where it says download. In that part, we are, we are going to scroll right until we find uh, the icon of Android. Then we are going to click where it says universal and we are going to wait. Then when the download is finished, you're going to click on the notification and then you're just going to click on install. Now we have Godot in our mobile phone. I'm going to make a new project clicking on the new project button. I'm going to just leave uh, the default name. I'm going to also create a new folder on my documents. I'm going to choose uh, the render of OpenGL S 2.0 because it's lower visual quality so that my phone uh, don't crash. And I'm going to click on create and edit. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds. As you can see in this version, it loads perfectly fine. Uh, there isn't so much lag. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is to create a 2D scene. And to this uh, node 2D, I'm going to rename it uh, to, for example, Hello World, just to give it a name. Then I'm going to attach a script with uh, a template of empty. I'm going to click create. And then we have here our script. Uh, I'm also going to save this scene like this. Okay, oh, it crashed. Well, here we are again. Okay, now I have my Hello World scene open. Uh, I will try to edit the script I've attached to it. Uh, I'm going to create the uh, ready function. It's maybe difficult to... Uh, yes, to create functions here. Uh, I don't remember how to create functions in Godot. I, I usually use Unity, uh, but no, it was Funk, yes. Funk, uh, then I'm going to put here ready. So now I have my ready function. And for example, um, I'm just going to print uh, some message. Okay, I think now it should be working, okay. I'm going to press play, I'm going to click on select current, and mm, I think it crashed again, I don't know, oh, I think that uh, you can see uh, the console or the output while uh, you are playing the game because uh, you can like have multiple windows in Android, like you have an, in a PC that you have the good job editor and then you have the uh, game window, so maybe printing th something isn't the best option to test uh, this version of Gojo out. Uh, so I'm just trying, I will try to add uh, some node, for example, a uh, sprite. I want to add a sprite like this. I'm going to create this sprite. As a texture, I'm going to just quick load uh, the logo of Gojo. I want to make it bigger if I can. Mm, okay, maybe something like this. Um, okay, the next thing I'm going to do, if I can't print something, uh, I will try to grab this sprite, like this, sprite dot a color for example or i don't know how the this property was called that you could a uh, visibility i think it was yes visibility the mod the modulate so it will be modulate and uh, will be equal 
equal equal where's the equal uh, equal here to i don't know color dot uh, alice blue because it's the it's the, <laughs> the first one that is shown alice blue okay so now when we press play uh, our sprite a uh, color of modulate should be changed into some kind uh, of blue so i will press play and i hope it doesn't crash please mm, okay it didn't change the color i don't know why but at least we have our uh, good joe icon actually what i think is wrong is the color because i i've just looked um this color up and i realized that it's like a white or it's not like blue as i thought so i'm just going to put color red so that now my good job icon should be red i'm going to press play again uh okay it's loading i hope yes okay uh, as you can see it takes a while to open but if we compare this version with the version we uh, revised some months ago this version works uh, perfectly fine uh, obviously it's very difficult to program in a mobile phone because of the keyboard because of the screen size um it's very difficult but at least as you have seen uh, some things can be made as a final opinion of good joe in android devices i can say that uh, it's a very good option if you don't have a pc you want to try out programming you want to try out how to make a script for example but uh, um if you want to make a complete project, publish it, export it, I don't know if you can't ex export some games, I believe no, you can't. The workflow, the code flow, uh, it's very difficult to follow because of the screen size. Maybe if you have a, a bigger device, if you connect a keyboard, if you connect a mouse, maybe of course um, the workflow will be better but it's impossible to code two lines it's very difficult so definitely i would recommend this android version for those who want to try out coding and don't actually have a pc well maybe you can try to write a couple of lines uh, i don't know but uh, you can't make very complex things because one uh, your mobile phone will crash or two uh, you won't be able to do them. I haven't seen a lot of tutorials about how to use this version. So the information, we have a very lack of information. And I believe that this version is in beta. Um, it's not the final version of this Android uh, version of Gojo. But uh, I, I can also say that uh, there are a lot of features, uh, there are a lot of improvements about the performance because I believe that two months or something like that before I've made a video about this version of Gujo of Android but uh, now it works a lot better. I am not saying that it works perfectly fine but better, yes. So this should be all for today's, for today's video. If you like it, please subscribe, like and comment. And see you on the next one. Bye bye.